Hayes, this is Zero at Disney Cars Toy Club, and today we're doing a superhero Marvel video for you guys. We're going to be opening up a total of 10 Marvel blind boxes, including Vinylmation series number one and number two. We also have a Guardians of the Galaxy minifigure statue to show to you. And finally, we have two superhero Play Doh egg surprises. Now, we're going to start the video off by opening up our first blind box. And we're going to start with my absolute favorite blind box out here. This is going to be series number one. This is the hard to find series. And we got two bearded Thors, the rare chasers out of here, which was pretty awesome. But we're still missing quite a few of the main characters. Let's see what we get for our first one. Oh, this is a new one. We got Captain America finally. And here he is with his shield that I dropped on the floor. Sorry about that, Cap. So here's our Captain America, and he's really colorful. He's almost as nice as the Iron Man that we pulled out of there. He's probably my second favorite figure so far. Of course, I really was really happy to get the bearded Thor, but as far as the characters, the way they look, Iron Man's probably still my favorite one, and then Cap's going to be second. Let's see what we get for our Marvel Labbit series. Now, we've gotten most of the figures out of this, but I figured since we were going to be doing a Marvel video, we'll just go ahead and do one of each of the Labbits, and it looks like we got another Doc Ock. And here is our Doc Ock. Go ahead and get this little plastic off. And here he is. He's one of the few Labbits that comes with like this big of an accessory, which obviously kind of levitates him off the ground just a little bit. That is awesome. That's one of my that's one of my favorite ones out of the Labbit series. Let's go ahead and open up the other one and see what we get. I think we've gotten yeah, we got all the characters, I believe, out of this one. But again, I still wanted to include it just because we're doing a Marvel video. And it looks like we got another Carnage. I don't think these actually have like mystery figures. I could be wrong, but I don't think we've ever gotten one. So I'm thinking there's no mystery figure in the Labbit series. That's kind of unfortunate. I really wish they would have done some type of like chaser or mystery figure. But as you can see on the box, there's no like question mark or dark figure. Next, we have the Marvel Zipper Pulls. These are pretty cool. We got a Hulk so far. Still have not gotten the Scarlet Spider. That's the one that I'm hoping to get out of this one at some point. Let's see what we got in here. I wasn't too impressed with the Hulk. Somebody commented and said it was the World War Hulk, but he looked kind of funny to me. And for this one, we got Magneto. So I actually know almost all the Marvel characters, luckily. I'm not too familiar with some of the DC stuff, but I know all of these. And again, this is going to be Magneto. I was looking for him. There he is right there on the corner. And these are just so tiny. He's actually smaller than my finger. <laughs> he's, he's just so little. We'll set that one down. And let's open up the Iron Man Marvel. This is going to be the Micro Mugs. And we've gotten some pretty cool ones out of this little set. This one, well, it's kind of a simple one. It's silver and black. Not, too, not a lot of color to this one. The blue ones are actually my favorite ones, and we haven't gotten that one right there in the middle. That one looks like it'd be pretty cool. That one right there is also kind of nice too, but again, that one's, that one's kind of all right. I don't know. It's not one of my favorite ones. Now, let's go ahead and open up the Marvel Mystery Minis, and again, we've gotten a lot of the figures out of this. I think we're still missing one or two. I think, yeah, we haven't gotten that super rare Deadpool, I don't think. I know we got this one right here. But we're still missing a couple from this series. I don't have a lot of these blind boxes left. In fact, I think I only have like maybe one left after this. I probably won't be ordering too many more of them. Now, if you're wondering where I bought most of these, most of them actually came from eBay. And looks like we got Spider-Man, which actually goes really well with the rest of our theme here since we have a Spider-Man egg over there. They kind of posed him a little funny, like it's it's like when you display him, all you can really see is the, the top of his head. So it's not the best pose for a Spider-Man, but it's still a pretty cool figure. We'll set him down. And speaking of Spider-Man, let's go ahead and open up the series number two. This is going to be the Spider-Man set. And we're still missing quite a few of the figures out of this little series. And nice, we finally got Electro. So here's our Electro. Definitely does not look like Jamie Foxx's character from the last movie. And wow, he just has so much nice color to him. His ears are clear, but they added these yellow lightning bolts like just all over him. That one is great. You know, he, he kind of reminds me a little bit of the Flash, especially with all those lightning bolts all over him. Next, we have the Ultimate Spider-Man action figure blind box. 
Now these are super hard to find. In fact, if somebody was to ask me where can I buy this, I wouldn't even know what to tell them because I've only seen this one time and I got this off of eBay. So all I can say is if you want these, good luck trying to find them because I don't know where you're gonna locate them. But it looks like we got another black Spider-Man and he's almost got like a purplish tint to him. He's, he doesn't even really have like a deep black look to it. It, it definitely has like a little bit of purple in him. And again, if you didn't check out one of the last videos, this is a magnet right here, which he can hold in his hand. So you can kind of hang them from like doorknobs and stuff like that if you want to. So that's a pretty cool little Spider-Man. And instead of opening up the last two blind boxes, I want to just skip straight to this for right now. I just cannot wait to see what this looks like. I really enjoyed the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. This is going to be Rocket, Raccoon, and Groot. It is a one-tenth scale pre-painted model kit. It's also a statue. And right here, I guess that's maybe the company that made it, Kotobukiya. I don't, I don't know. Good luck trying to pronounce that. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this out of the box. I just, I'm so excited to see what this thing looks like. And if you're wondering where I got this, if you guys have been paying any attention to me commenting about where I get most of this stuff, I also got this from eBay. I'm not sure where else you could buy it. And I paid $40 for this one. Usually it sells for a little bit more than that. It's usually about $50 or $60. So these are the little pieces that you get. Looks like it comes in about four pieces. And I'm gonna get it put together real quick so we can check it out. And here's our Rocket and Groot. And wow, this thing is just so nice. There's so much just little fine detail. I mean, they even gave them kind of like a little green hue of color right there on the back of them. They gave them a little bit of color right there on the top. I mean, there's just so many colors all over Groot. And Rocket has just a lot of really fine detail. There's just little tiny marks all over him to make his fur kind of stand out. Of course, they painted the little white stripes on his tail there. The only thing that I can really complain about with this statue is I'm not a big fan of the way they did their eyes. Their eyes are just pitch black. And I, I kind of wish they would have made their eyes just a little bit more glossy. But other than that, I mean, this thing looks great. I mean, they even gave him his little backpack, his gun. I mean, that thing looks like it came out of the Terminator movie. It just, it looks awesome. That is such a great little statue. And let's go ahead and open up the final two blind boxes and then we'll open up our two surprise eggs. This is gonna be, again, series number two. And I have a feeling we're gonna start getting some duplicates pretty soon with this series. And for this one, we did get a duplicate. So this is gonna be the Lizard King, or the Lizard, excuse me. There's no little accessories or weapons or anything with him. And then for the final one, here's a look one more time at the side. I'm trying to see which ones we haven't gotten. I don't think we've gotten that Spider-Man yet. And we definitely haven't gotten Spider-Woman. We also haven't gotten Nick Fury. And I'm not sure if we got... Yeah, I think we did get one of the chasers. We got Kingpin, if I remember right. It's hard to keep track of all this stuff. <laughs> But for this one, wow, what is that? That's going to be Vision. I'm not even familiar with this character. I'm glad we didn't get another duplicate. That worked out really good. And I noticed when I was kind of touching him, his ears are kind of like sticky. And if you look real close, you can kind of see it's just got kind of like this ooze on it. And his ears are just so greasy. I mean, that, that's pretty gross. It's like, it's got like just this film of grease all over it. Wow, that's, that's kind of crazy. And now we're down to our final two items. We have a Spider-Man egg and a Captain America egg. I'm wondering which one should I open first? Let's do the Captain America first. Let's see what we got inside of this one. We have actually two items, I believe. We have an Avengers grab zag and a Marvel grab zag. And we still have not gotten a figure out of either one of these, actually, now that I think about it. We've never gotten one of the Marvel minis. I just, I, I'm waiting for the day <laughs> to get one of those. But for this one, we got another skateboard. This one actually looks really cool. It's got all the Avengers on there. Iron Man looks really nice right there. And now for the Marvel Grab Zag. Again, these also have Marvel Minis, which is what I'm hoping to get. In fact, I bought an entire case and we've opened maybe 10 of these so far and we still <laughs> have not gotten one. So we got another pin and this is like the third pin that we've gotten. So 
yeah these are not the best best things to get out of here unfortunately so let's keep rolling along let's go ahead and open up our spider-man egg here's our little spider-man logo and wow the top of this one actually came off with the play-doh so for this we got two another two items we have a marvel avengers mashems we also have one more try at the <laughs> minifigure. It's almost like a lottery here, trying to win the lottery with trying to get one of these figures out of these bags. They must not have put very many figures in the case. And this thing came flying out of there, so we're gonna pull the little paper out and push this button, and it's supposed to light up, but it's not. <laughs> wow this thing's actually broken right out of the package so this was supposed to be like a little flashlight and it doesn't work that's uh that's really unfortunate i was wondering if i could take the top off if maybe i needed to put batteries in it but it doesn't come off so uh yeah here we go with a broken spider bed flashlight <laughs> that's not gonna do you much good in the dark that's for sure so let's go ahead and open up our final item. This is the Marvel Avengers Assembles Mashems. Well, it doesn't say Assembles. It says Assemble. All right. Let's get this thing open. And it looks like we got our Hawkeye here. Of course, you can squish him, make his little glasses pop into the little bubble there. So that's kind of a cool little Mashem. It's one of the better looking ones that I've seen, but when I first pulled them out of there, I couldn't exactly tell. I had to think about it for a minute. I'm like, who is that? And it just took me a second for it to click. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the Marvel video for today. If you did, be sure to press the like button. Also, comment and let us know which Marvel characters would you like to see more on the channel. This is Disney Cars Toy Club, and as always, thanks for stopping by.